Step number one is to wash the rice. Put it in a bowl. I have one cup of rice in here. Rinse it out. Add more cold water. Rinse it out. Gently mix it. You do this uh, six or seven times, whatever you need, until the water is clear. That gets most of the excess starch off of it. So, step one. Next step, you put the rice into a pot. And if you have a rice cooker, I suppose that would be better. And however amount of rice you put in there, you put a little bit more in. I just put it in the bowl so that it rinses out the rice that was stuck in the bowl. So right now I have one cup of water and one cup of rice, and I'm going to add another, maybe just a little bit extra, okay? And pour that in. And I just kind of make it flat in the pot, as you can see. Um, add a dash of salt. Don't know why, but that's just something I'm going to do. Put the lid on. Turn it on to high, max, until it starts to boil, and when it starts to boil, reduce the heat. Then let it sit for maybe 20 minutes or something, and then it'll be time to take it out. Hey, okay, so while your rice is cooking, You'd get some rice vinegar. Um, I'm not very big on measuring, so pour in some. Maybe a quarter of a cup. I'm not sure. Then it's recommended to put in like a tablespoon of sugar. Since I'm not good with sugar, I'm using stevia. Two little packets of stevia, or stevia, depending on how you want to pronounce it. And then... Just a little bit, like a half a teaspoon or less of um, sea salt. Dump that in there. Then you just warm it up. Don't bring it to a boil. Mix it up and you see, that's what you have. Okay, next. I highly recommend when making sushi that you have a martini or a glass of red wine. It just makes the process so much better. You, you need a fan to fan your rice to cool it down. And then you got to just kind of chop it. So take your sweetened salted vinegar and slowly pour it on. I like to pour it on a little bit, give it a bit of a fan, and then a bit of a chop. And just kind of chop it loosely. You don't want to crush up the rice. Fan it. And then sprinkle on the rest of your vinegar, rice vinegar. Doing it this way saves calories because there's no sugar. Don't put in aspartame stuff, but with the stevia, it's natural. It's natural, so it's good. It's a natural sweetener. Then just chop it in there. You can use a flat wooden spatula type thing and a wooden bowl is better, but I don't have one and I don't have the other. So use what you got. I My spoon is bamboo, which I love. 
so. Fan it. You don't want to use hot rice on your sushi. Stir it up. Keeps it from getting overcooked as well if you can cool it down. Okay, so just decide what kind of sushi you want. So we're making sushi rolls here. Put in just have a good sharp knife and cut up whatever it is you want inside your sushis. I'm going to put some cucumber in this one. So I just chop it up. I'm going to put some imitation crab in mine. You can buy a real crab and this is just what I had available where I shop. So I'm sure you can buy much better quality stuff if you buy it online or go to an Asian market. Um, smoked salmon which you can also don't have very much left here but there's other this is not really sushi salmon it's just what I had available where I'm sh where I shop so that's what I got okay next I have um, cream cheese because I love cream cheese sushi in my sushi so just chop a little chunk off your cream cheese, cut it, and you're good. Check it out. Cream cheese and salmon tastes really good. Mind you, the cream cheese does add extra fat, so if you're trying to look for like low-fat methods, you can maybe buy low-fat cream cheese. I don't know. It doesn't taste as good. Um, or just don't use it at all. Then we I have um, some avocado here. There goes the seed. So slice some avocado slices. I'm gonna pull it out of the out of the wrapper. Put it on your little plate. Love it. Slice it. And here we have what I'm going to put into my sushi rolls. There's lots of different options out there. Do your searching and uh, Google, do a Google search and you can find lots of different options. Vegetarian or not. Okay, then what I wanna do is I like this I like the spicy, but the spicy that you get in the Japanese restaurants, spicy mayo that comes on your spicy stuff, for whatever reason, it's not the best. But um, I learned if you use 
Hellman's mayonnaise. This one happens to be the olive oil mayonnaise, but whatever Hellman's mayonnaise you like. And I'm going to put this, it's better if you can put it in one of those little squirt container thingies, but I don't have one of those, so I'm just going to put it in a little mason jar, because I'm a mason jar addict. So mostly you want mayo in there. And then from that, just add a little bit of this, uh, I don't even, I can't even say it, Shakira hot sauce, hot chili sauce. Do you see it? Shri Kacha, whatever, who knows. To go on, to go Shri Just squirt some of that in. The more you squirt, the hotter it is. Squirt some in. And it gives it that spicy mayo taste. But it tastes better than made with Japanese mayo or whatever. I don't know what they actually use in Japanese restaurants. It's the same, looks the same. But this one just seems to taste better. For some reason. And a little bit more because it's not that that spicy yet. So we're going to stir it up. Stir it. And then I can just put this in the fridge and I don't see any reason why it won't last any longer than mayonnaise normally lasts. So I'll just put that aside, get the mayonnaise gone, and the spiciness gone. Okay, so now you have all the ingredients you're going to use. Your ingredients can be completely different than mine or the same. It's totally up to you. Mm. But these are just what I happen to like. Um, I really like the eel, the barbecue eel stuff. But uh, I haven't been able to find it yet. Although I haven't looked that hard. I'm going to check the fish market down the street. And the flying fish eggs, which have another name. And I can't tell you what that is. But... I would like to get both of those. If I can't get them, I might order them online because I'm really liking how easy this is and how deliciously tasty and healthy at the same time. So, put this aside. Take out your toasted nori sheets. Pull it out. Um, I really don't know if you're supposed to do shiny side up or shiny side down, but I'm going to do shiny side down because I think the rice will stick better to the other side. But that's just my own personal opinion. Don't really know what it's actually supposed to be. You might want to get a second opinion on that. I'll go a little bowl with some water in it. I'm going to chop this nori sheet down to, it's basically about two-thirds, whoops, about two-thirds the size. So this other piece, I'll just put it back in here, um, I'll use it for something else, put it in some miso soup or something. Turn my sheet sideways, can you see that? Yeah, you can. Okay, dip my fingers in the water. Grab some of my rice. Spread it out on my nori sheet. Now, what would also be really nice on this would be some um, if you leave this a bit longer before you start trying to actually make it, it is better because it's not warm anymore. 
Just put a moist towel over top of it, clean moist towel to keep it from drying out. But it'll get a little stickier than, than it is right now. And we'll do a better job. But I want sushi right now, so I'm going to make it right now. Okay, so there we go. Put it all on here for this type that I'm making today where the rice is on the outside. Now next would be great if you could sprinkle some toasted sesame on it or black sesame seeds. Um, flip it over like that. And this is where you add your ingredients. I'm going to add some crab. You can cut it off at the end it's too big. Add some cucumbers. Add some avocado. And some cream cheese, which you can just kind of squish and spread it out a bit. Now I like to add the spicy mayo inside for some reason. You can put it outside too, but I kind of like it inside, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright. Alright. So. After you get all your ingredients in there, you roll it up like this, like so. Grab your sushi mat, put mine into a Ziploc bag, keeps it clean. And you just kind of roll it up. You can flip it underneath, roll it up, and out. The key really is the rice. As long as your rice is in good shape, it's in good shape. My rice is a little too hot, so my um, seaweed is a little overcooked, but nonetheless, turned out not bad. And this is why you could add other things if you wanted. You can add salmon on top and whatever. Um, next. I suggest you could use saran wrap, but a piece of wax paper over top. Take your knife, have a wet cloth beside you or a damp cloth. Make sure your knife is nice and clean in between each cut and then basically just cut it. Cut it in half. This in half. Uh, clean it in between the, your cuts for a better slice. Cut each. Cut it in quarters. Eighths. So it's better if you cut like each half, each section in half and then in half again until you have eight, eight sections. Then you pull it off. And if you want, you can put your thing back on and just reshape it a little bit, your sushi mat. Mine's not perfectly shaped, but you get the idea. Get yourself a little bowl or something to put some um, 
soy sauce in. My favorite is Bragg's liquid soy. I love that stuff. Get yourself a little plate. Put your she rolls on. Now, if this was like a party and you really wanted it to look good, you might want to cut the ends off. Um, depending on what type it is, so that they're not all sticking out and it just looks better. But if it's just for yourself, don't worry about it. And get it on your plate. And this is where you can have it as is. Or you can drizzle some more of your little spicy mayo type stuff on there, which, like I said, does add extra unnecessary fat. So depending on how healthy you're trying to be, you can do with or without that. I'm not going to put it on the end because... The boys are going to have those, and they don't like it. <laughs> and there we go. Sushi. Hope you enjoy. Uh, as for what particular type of roll this is, this is a raven roll, basically. Um, I made it up. I just put stuff in it that I like. It's not a particular specific type. It might be. I don't know if it has a name. But uh, you can definitely find specific types if you just want a salmon roll. You could put uh, a salmon or a Philly roll where you just put cream cheese and salmon inside. Or you could have just a uh, California roll, which would be like cucumbers, crab, and avocado inside or you can do the other ones where it's just like a cucumber roll where it's just cucumber maybe cucumber and carrots and the sushi would be on the outside then or the nori rather the seaweed so totally option you have lots of options um i just started making this yesterday because i went out for sushi and was like i think i'd like to make that at home and eat it every day i might not eat it every day but i might eat it a little more often now that I know that it's not very hard to make and it's so healthy. It gives me a good kick of protein and as someone who doesn't eat any other meat besides fish, it's perfect. So hope you enjoy. Raven Knight here, don't know if you can see me, here enchanting and enhancing your life.